Good afternoon guys, I hope we are all doing very well. Now, as always, welcome back to a Sunday video because by the time this video goes up, it's gonna be Sunday. It's gonna be the day after I deadlift. It's gonna be two days after I film this little segment right here to intro this video. You're probably sitting there thinking, Kevy, what is in that big massive package? that you just threw halfway across your living room. Well, in this package right here is a massive, lovely order from Gas. Now, let me tell you another little pointless story. We had not one, but around five more problems with UPS. Not delivering to my home, but actually delivering two minutes across the road to the Amazon factory. Once again, my gas parcel got lost. This is around the fourth parcel that's got lost. Actually, you will have probably seen by now my personalized better bodies tracksuit, one of them actually got lost and I couldn't do a single thing about it. Gasp, obviously being Gasp, most helpful people on the planet, they were like, Kiffy, don't worry about it. It's not going to be the end of the world. We'll get another one made. We'll get another one sent out and that's going to be it. They did do that. They sent it by a different delivery company and it came on the day it was meant to come and that was literally it. So UPS, this is going to be a little bit of a day in the life. It's going to be pretty random. There's going to be no major planning around this video regardless of that i do hope you enjoy if you do enjoy it please do not forget to drop the video a like for me subscribe to the channel if you are new because we're still on the road to 10,000 subscribers and let's get on with this gasp delivery what i'm going to do is i'm just going to stick a little picture of exactly what the item is up here and what size i have because that's also a big one in which a lot of people do often ask me what size i am in gas clothing usually upper body 2xl lower body is large if my lower body was 2XL, I would love that, but unfortunately, I still have chicken legs. I'm nine years into training, my legs still suck, so I'm only a large. But first of all, guys, what we've got here is a cadet t-shirt, which is the new one, which is actually red and black. Hopefully, you can see this with the light, but this is actually red and black, and it's a cadet tee. We have two of the brand new Iron World Thermal Tees. This is actually a red camo, which I wasn't too that I wasn't too much of a fan of when I seen it come out straight away. It wasn't it wasn't my go-to, but it has definitely grown on me, and that's why we've had to make sure that this is now going to be in the wardrobe. This is literally one of the new Relentless caps, which this comes in multiple different colours. I've had to go black and black or grey and black, what you can see anyway. This is actually very smart and this most definitely um, will be going on my head for some lovely deadlifts tomorrow. Skull standard t-shirt, so this is in army green. Hopefully you can see that come up on the screen in that colour because we are sitting right in front of the light. But this is a lovely skull tee in which obviously is another brand new item that is just out. Now guys, like I said to you already, some of these that I am showing you right now are brand new. They've literally just been released. Actually, I think a couple of them might not have been released yet, but obviously I get a little bit of early access to it because you know I'm an athlete in that. Some of them will be already out, so you can obviously shoot over to the Gas website or Better Bodies if you are into Better Bodies as well. Kiffy15 is simply just my code for both Gasp and Better Bodies. Anybody that uses my code is very much appreciated. The support is incredible. The support so far, I have only worked with Gasp around five months now and the support has honestly been surreal. So again, guys, I cannot thank you enough for that. Next up, a Division Iron Tee. Now, like I've said to you already, guys, the Division Tees are, are my favorite. Like, out of anything I think that Gasp actually have and Better Bodies for that matter, the Division Tees are my, my absolute favorite. I've got them all, all better bodies, all gas. I think I've actually got pretty much everything from them now regardless. But apart from that, the division tees in which we've actually got three of them here, um, which are the brand new ones. So the brand new division tees, one in black, we've got one in white, and we've also got one in red. I, I personally just like the feel of them. They sit on your physique really, really, really nicely, and you don't have the, the kind of, you don't have to worry about the t-shirts. You know how you can you can have an oversized t-shirt, but then it can like be up here, and it can be all over the place, and it's just not the most optimal thing on the planet. With the Division Tees, they sit on you really nicely, and they're, they're so comfy as well, so soft, so light. They're absolutely perfect for training. And again, guys, like I genuinely could not recommend them anymore if you're looking for something really comfy especially throughout training last but not least we have the brand new giant killer orange bright fucking orange as you can see there um the other thermal top from of course um sean three to the man himself now they actually do come in orange army green black and red i believe the orange i think is either just released and might just be released by the time this video goes up but also might not be released just yet so if it isn't i can only apologize but that is going to be that one guys quick gasp haul and yeah no more waffling on kef let's just get on with this video honestly man's just trying to crack his fucking eggs and this has happened this has literally happened that is why 
you never crack your eggs yourself and that's why you buy liquid egg whites and you don't try and crack these stupid things on the counter. This is why I do his eggs form. This is literally why I do. I can crack an egg with one hand, by the way. That was my party trick. Seriously, but that was the second time you've done that, Kev. Because remember, you dripped it all down the counter. Oh, so best go off on the tail. The same sickness we had the day before. Yeah, I have this every day. Any particular reason why you've got to have two spreads <laughs> over one spread? I just think it's nice to have the choice, so if I want a wee bit of Nutella from this side, I have a wee bit of Nutella, and if I want a wee bit of Bisco, I have a wee bit of Bisco. And of course, we've got the finest five-star meal on the planet that'll go in every single day. We've got eight turkey washers, two big boy bagels, top of the big boy bagel there, top of the other big boy, big bob 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 big bob 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 bob, bob, bob bagel, bagel bagel over there, and we've also got three whole eggs, three egg whites, around 180 grams of egg whites, and three egg yolks. Big boy bagels, monster. We need monster. So thank you very much. Tell the whole world, what did you order? How did you order it? How much did it cost? Where did it come from? In fact, don't tell them where it came from because that's a secret, but what would you like to tell them and why? You've got 20 seconds, go. Okay, we're really big fans of monster in this house. And if you shop in Tesco, it's 4 85 for four tins of monster. And it's got a sick of pen, 4.85 for four tons of monster. So we did a bit of investigating and here we have 12, 36 cans of monster. I think it was like 35 pound. That's a bargain. That is a bargain. And yeah, it's a bargain. If you drink monster, you know that's a bargain. A lovely little key ring, which I've bag seed. So 36 cans. Yeah. In your head, quick maths, how long is that gonna do us? 16 days. 16 days. Next. Did you tell them how the guy, when he came to the door, he, he told you? No, we to don't need to tell them that. We don't need to tell them that. <laughs> Kev went and answered the door and the, the Royal Mail mum was like, careful mate, that is really heavy, just in case you don't expect it. And Kev walked back in like, don't know what looked like I left. I was like. Your weekly rundown of supplement guys. So as you can see here, we've got three different shakers. We've got my one here, my one also here. And this is Sarah's intro because she's not going to be taking any pre today. Um, so as always guys, it's deadlift day, so you know um, already by now the, the supplements that I do take in pretty much throughout all of my training sessions, however the only thing that does vary is pretty much the amounts that are going in, so today we've got three scoops of carb up for me, um, we've also got a scoop of level up in here, we have got two scoops of no code which is the essential amino acid, we've of course got six ride on going in pre-workout and we also have two big fat heaped scoops of your finest train smart which is going in pre so for sarah for anybody that does care she's not going to be taking in this today she is going to be taking in six ride on she is going to be taking in one no code she's got two scoops of carb up so that's hers right here mine here now it's time to deadlift Good. Thank you. 
So we fast forward another 24 hours um, and it is now Sunday. It is now actually the day that this video is going up. It's got seven hours. It needs to go up in seven hours. So um, yeah, this is going to be a pretty hectic day actually trying to get this video downloaded off the camera, edited into the final part of the video and actually up. Now I have actually just finished my lovely little check-ins for a Sunday morning. Part one of work's done, so I've, I've still got um, block one and block two of my check-ins, whether that be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, whatever day it may be. However, um, deadlift yesterday obviously went very, very, very well. As you would have seen, we were able to take the 320 kilogram triple. Um, now, that was most definitely something that was quite an eye-opener for me because I've been really working super hard on releasing the slack from the deadlift bar itself and I've really found that it has been a little bit harder to really adapt to but it's been something that I have been able to adapt to pretty well recently. And that being said, the 300 triple pause last week gave me the confidence to go in at 320 yesterday. The plan was just to take a single, however, it just felt too good and I thought, you know something, I'm not going to kill myself and fatigue myself by trying another dead stop or another two dead stop. So we touched and go it. Again, I felt perfect after it. We had a really good back session. On to today, like I've said to you already guys, I've just finished work, I've actually got my turkey bacon in the oven as we speak, so that meal one is getting ready right now. We're going to take in two meals and then we will be on chest today because chest rolls round again this Sunday. Um, like always guys, I'm not going to take you into the gym for this chest session today, but I might put a little um, few clips over the top of obviously me chanting some shit right now, but... With today being chest, essentially it'll now roll back to chest on Thursday, so what'll happen is I'll go chest and then shoulders on Tuesday, chest on Thursday and then Sunday will be shoulders. So pretty much the way it kind of works about is two weeks um, I'll hit chest twice and then obviously shoulders will get hit twice the following week. Um, that's the way that my splits always worked, I'll deadlift um, once per week, I will train back twice per week Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday will be primarily focused on things like T-bar rows, barbell rows, um, no, dead, uh, no deadlifts for that matter. But Legs will, of course, be only hit once every single Monday, so that means legs is actually tomorrow. But apart from that, guys, this, realistically speaking, is a weekend in, in, in the life of, obviously, myself and Sarah. This is what we get up to. This is what we do whenever we're not travelling. Thankfully, there's nothing on this weekend. We've got no travelling. We don't have to be anywhere. We don't have to go anywhere because the season's kicking off, like, literally right now. And um, We've got FedEx coming up. There's so much coming up, like, that we are going to be travelling consistently for. And don't get me wrong, like, super grateful to be in the position of, constantly traveling and get getting to see the world of course um, and what you could say and of course getting to travel to lots of different bodybuilding shows big expos I, I mean it is phenomenal but this is a realistic weekend in the life because we literally um, from Friday we don't really have anything on apart from just a normal work day Sarah's still at work Saturday of course we know it's a deadlift day regardless of where we're at but of course we were here um, we had a couple of deliveries, we just included them, but realistically speaking, nothing else does happen. It's just the same things day in, day out, um, unless we are on the road. Today is chest day, we're going to hit chest a little bit earlier than normal, so we're going to go in around 1pm. We're going to get chest done, and then of course we are going to be able to chill out for the rest of Sunday. I'm going to be able to have my PM block of work, and that is going to be that. But apart from that, guys, as always... I do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do not forget to drop the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you all in the next video.